What's up guys, today we are opening a box of OP05. Uh, I got this from my local card shop, Game Lair, that I work at. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Figure New Year, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see, I did rip it a little bit just to get it open right away. But let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, the set obviously so far, um, I mean a lot of meta impact obviously with uh, Sakazuki, Enel, uh, even Purple Luffy, even decks like uh, Betty and Sabo have been doing pretty well. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of the Rosanante deck. Um, obviously, it's not the best deck out there, but it is one that I personally like. I'm a big fan of green. So, let's take a look. Uh, obviously, 24 packs. Um, the biggest thing out of these that's been nice, actually, is I've been seeing is a lot of... Uh, uh, triple hits so where um we'll set this over here to the side uh where we've been seeing you know two alts and a secret hold quite a bit so let's hope and yeah, let's take a look and let's start it out A lot of Don Quixote stuff came out in this set. Um, unfortunately, most of it just was not great. But uh, some pretty decent. And there we go. Starting it off pretty hot already. Uh, Kid, obviously, great card. Uh, I run it, um, obviously, in decks like the Red Purple. Um, Law decks. Uh, even, you know, Red Purple Luffy stuff like that. So... Keep it going. Definitely a good hit for the beginning. Let's take a look at the next one here. Um, Kuma. Uh, you know, this set was actually a pretty good set for Sealed as well. Um, I know a lot of stuff going on at our turn and our local stuff like that. I mean, a lot, a lot of solid hits that you could pull out of packs. Uh, not really much in that one, unfortunately. But even for like Sealed tournaments, you know, stuff like that, what people were running. Um, it's just a fun set because it's actually pretty diverse. So let's see here. This card, I I don't see a lot of people running it, but I feel like it's super crazy. I mean, you know, essentially Yamato effect with a two drop there. Shirahoshi and Beppo. Um, obviously, uh, quite a few hits out of here we're looking for. You know, obviously, the all of our leaders are the big ones. Uh, as you can see, one of my previous boxes, I pulled a Sakasuki, so that was really nice. Let's keep it going. Uh, Fire Fist, and of course, the Altar Don. Um, I think this Altar Don's cool. Uh, it's not my favorite of all of them. Um, honestly, I really like the Shanks one. Uh, simply because I was, I'm a big fan of Shanks, obviously. He's, you know, uh, I think super, um super good and also uh i'm really interested to see how it goes in the anime and uh, what they do with him uh and see where they push him to see you you know waiting for that big obviously luffy shanks fight keep it going keep it going all right and of course a seven drop borsalino um yeah i mean uh obviously great card uh, Blue's getting a lot, Blue has a lot of high drop removal type stuff right now. You know, this, Red Rock, stuff like that. Um, and obviously, there's other cards out there that are just great. Uh, the other Porcelino, obviously, the 4 drop black, um, going up like crazy right now just because of how hyped it is. Um, but I mean, it's a fantastic card. So let's keep going here. Okay, another good one, another good one. Uh, the uh, Trafalgar Law. Uh, when attacking, if your opponent has more Dawn cards on the field, look at the top five of the deck, reveal up to one Heart Pirate, add to your hand, and place the rest of the bottom of the deck in any order. Um, I'd like it. I wish, actually, it had been like a... I think it would have been a, a little bit better, obviously, as like a once-per-turn effect instead of a when-attacking effect because uh, at least the one thing I notice when I'm playing stuff is uh, usually they'll get it out right away. Usually they, they try it. They, they KO it pretty quick. Um, if you're playing against, you know, decks that do a lot of KO stuff, they'll usually be able to get rid of it. 
but if it is able to go off especially like my red purple law deck uh when it goes off though it gets crazy um just because of the stuff that it can find for you um you know like uh the uh the red law that came in the uh promo pack um then obviously several other cards the other the four drop law blocker let's keep it going here and all um i mean yeah we just did this card so crazy i mean just you trash one card unless, unless uh luffy's on board uh but seven drop 7k rush just uh, insane i mean you know uh, yellow's just got so many crazy cards right now that and and the seeing the stuff that they're getting still to come it just it boggles my mind how much uh band i truly loves that color <laughs> Uh, definitely, I mean, obviously, um, I have been cooked by yellow several times, but I mean, the deck's crazy. So I'm just hoping for more green support. Awesome, Lucci. So, so far this box has been pretty great. We've got the Edel, Borsalino, uh, Law, Kid, and a Lucci. I mean, um, obviously Lucci effect, uh, on play, place three cards from trash and bottom of the deck in any order ko up to one of your opponent's characters with cost or two or less and one with cost of one or less um on play that may not sound great because you're like oh well how often they have one and two but in like the black sakazuki deck i mean it's just crazy because you could just lower there's so many things that do lowering abilities hina stuff like that that just make it uh, essentially easy i mean it's almost a free uh you know you're wiping out fours and fives pretty simply And there is one of our hits. So, uh, 10 drop Kaido. Uh, on play, draw four cards if your opponent has three or less life. Um, I mean, it's usually pretty simple. By the time you get this guy out, your, prop, your opponent's probably going to be on three or less. Um, especially if they're playing a character that has only starts with four. Um, making it a 10-12 uh, to me was crazy. Um, a lot of cards coming out that are doing this way, uh, that are 10-12s. Um, to me, the 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 only one I really am actually kind of upset with is uh, the ten drop uh, Do Flamingo that came out uh, in 04. Um, just because of the fact that I wish that had been a um, uh, ten drop twelve k, um, that would have been great. Because I don't believe it was. I believe that was a ten ten. If I'm wrong, of course, comment and let me know that I'm a fool. Um, there weren't really a lot of uh, comments on comments type cards that came out that were crazy good. Um, Rosanante, okay. It's not a bad card. I don't run it in my build personally. Um, I know some people kind of hit or miss on it. Um, but I just just not my favorite personally. This card I actually really like in my build as well, though Charles Stone. Uh, counter up to one of your leader gains four K, and then you could trash one and set up to three as active. Uh, it's pretty actually pretty solid. I, I've I've gotten several games off that card. Uh, another of course thing, uh, Man Cherry. I remember when this card was first announced. Uh, the pre-sales on this card were crazy high. I mean, now it's obviously a lot cheaper, but the pre-sales were quite a bit more. Uh, during your main phase, tap one. Uh, you may rest this character, place two cards in the trash, and bottom of the deck, add up to one character with three or three to five cost uh, from trash to hand. I, I mean, that's just wild. Just you know, recurring any of your uh, any of your lockers that may have been gone now or anything. So let's take a look here. Let's see here. Fire Fist and the, the Fire Fist card is obviously fairly good. Uh I, we pulled one earlier as well. Uh give up to one of your opponent's characters minus four K, and then if you have two or less uh life, uh KO, something with zero. Um I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, obviously, you could, if you're playing against other decks and stuff and they have a zero cost out, you could lower something by 4K and then KO uh, another card. It doesn't have to be that card. So it is pretty nice. Uh, 
Ohm. Um, this card, I know uh, one of the guys on my locals uh, I show he's he plays this quite a bit, and uh, um, I've seen so many whiffs on that. And it's just, it's crazy. It's like, uh, it's, it's almost one of those cards where if you don't already have a Holly in hand, you want to, you just don't want to play it because it's like, I mean, the, the risk to reward is just so hard because yeah, I mean, it's possible you hit it, but I mean, there's a decent chance you won't as well. Houndblade is another crazy blue card. Um, main phase, uh, up to one year leader character gains, uh, Gains 3k power during the turn, then place up to one, two or less at the bottom of the owner's deck. Um, or trigger, return up to one character, three or less of the owner's hand. Um, yeah, just a crazy card. I mean, uh, you know, just to give Sakazuki more help. <laughs> Satori and... Because the side of justice will be whichever side wins. Uh, so Tori's obviously a uh, fairly good card. Played generally three to four uh, in most yellow decks. Just because uh, trash one card, play it. I mean, play a free 5k. Uh, I think um, uh, Larson, if I remember correctly, speaks about it in the NL profile. Which uh, definitely go check out on our channel. Um, keep it going. Looks like we may have a hit in this one. Uh, let's hope that it is a big one. Let's take a look. Keep it going. Another ohm. A good Datsu. Okay. Um, I mean, we have pulled one, as you can see already down here. Um, this card is crazy texture and everything. I mean, you can see how it kind of like radiates out and stuff. I, I, just, I, I think that texture looks so amazing. I'm um, definitely a big fan of it. Um, go ahead and sleeve it up. Um, that is the one thing I will say. I, I mean, I, I played so I played Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time, um, and coming over to One Piece after I just I, I just you know kind of lost interest in the Yu-Gi-Oh game just the way it was. Um, but that card is just so uh, the the texture and the looks of these cards are just so crazy. Um, and that's one of the big things that really drew me in. Uh, obviously, being a big fan of the anime uh, itself also, I mean, definitely helped. But um, just the, the look of the cards themselves. I mean, the, these cards have some crazy looks, crazy textures. Uh, they're just super cool. Um, definitely a big fan. I think we opened a pack just like that earlier in the video. Those the exact same too. So it's, it's a sad thing. Looks like another hit. All right. Um, so this will probably be the last hit of the box, I assume. Uh, let's hope it's a good one. We're obviously hoping for a leader. Um, see which one we get. Oh, man, Sherry. All right. Um, it's actually my third, I think, my third ult. Uh, obviously, I one right up there above it as well. Pulling duplicates of what I already got. Sengadatsu, second, Man Sherry here. I think I think this is my third or fourth. Um, but still, beautiful card, beautiful card. Um, don't have any more stands near me. I also wasn't sure if I was going to pull two or three. Oh, second here. Let's go ahead and throw. Let's go and throw it right up here next to the other one. sitting back a little bit more there we go pull that up and boom um also got one of the cool posters up here i'll kind of show you guys the uh the opo5 poster got that from a, one of my locals as well it's pretty cool um shout out to games king there in sioux city uh, Games King and Game Lair in Sioux City, Iowa. If you guys are over here, come check them out. Uh, fantastic shops. Um, let's keep it going. Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit a fourth. Uh, I would be that would be crazy, but awesome. Uh, Zoro Juro. Um, so another good card. Uh, if you have three or less life, add up to one Don um, uh, from your Don deck set as active. Uh, now 
this is one attacking, which is actually pretty crazy. So a lot of times if you put this one on board, uh, your opponents, you're generally going to try and wipe it pretty quick. Um, I mean, obviously just really good card. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh my God. Oh, just, oh, I thought it was another hit for a second. I was about to be like, geez, what a box, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's take a look. Maybe we can hit a second Lucci or something. Oh, second law. Hey, not bad. I'm definitely okay with that. Um, I mean, it's, it's a great card. Definitely okay with it. I was kind of getting greedy with that that fourth hit. We've already hit two. We, I mean, we're happy with that. Or hit three at least, so we're happy. Let's see here. Another man cherry. Okay. Uh, the only other card really that we're kind of looking for here, if we can hit, uh, we hit the Lucci of uh, Rebecca. The four drop Rebecca Black um, would be fantastic. Um, it's just a just an overall great card. But I mean, we hit the kid. We hit two laws, Lucci. I mean, I think we we've we've hit pretty well. Not to mention the the triple hit out of the box. Um, yeah, definitely great. Satori and two hundred million volts of Maru. Um, all right. Last pack magic. Let's see the good stuff here. Okay, okay. So it looks like we're getting something. It's just not not a hit, but definitely something here. Let's see which one. Kind of see the top of it. Looks like it's gonna be uh, koala. Koala. Yep, yep. There's another one. Okay. Uh, definitely a good card. I mean, for the deck itself, it's a two K counter, which is great. A two three. Uh, if your leader has revolutionary army type, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 3k during this turn. Uh, definitely a great card. Uh, I'm actually interested to see. I've heard, I think it's OP07 is going to have a Monkey D Dragon a revolutionary leader. So, I mean, if they do, uh, we'll definitely see how it plays. It looks like it's going to be a red as well. So, I mean, that could be pretty cool. Um, definitely some great things potentially. <laughs> Um, all right, guys, that is it. Um, overall, I mean, uh, yeah, we're very happy with our box. You know, obviously the three hits between the Gidatsu, the Tendrop Kaido, and of course the Man Cherry there. Um, couldn't pull a leader, but it's all good. Uh, then we'll go back over a few of these here. The, we got the Koala, the Law, the Luchi, the Enel, the Law again, or Selena, and of course the Kid. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the set is very good. Um, I, I definitely see why it's getting a lot of its hype and stuff. Um, luckily my, my locals has been pretty, you know, fortunate to have some extras. Um, so it's been pretty cool, but Hey, I appreciate you guys checking it out. Of course, uh, go ahead and follow us in our discord, uh, where we do talk about a lot of one piece stuff. We show a lot of things there. We also do trading stuff like that. Um, so if you do have any questions, feel free, please comment down below. Uh, if you have any questions or, you know, just say, Hey, uh, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys later.